Did you ever get the feeling that someone's peeking in the window? <gasps> like a peeping Tom or a peeping Gary. Oh, funny. Let's get into serious business. What happened yesterday with the thousands of hummingbirds? Hi, everybody. It's Robbie from Southern California and a lot's going on right now. But you know, I want to come on today just to tell you what happened yesterday. Literally thousands of hummingbirds were coming here in the evening. We had them all day. I was going through gallons and gallons of food, but I noticed them because I was working on the garden and doing different things that there were thousands. I quickly got online and contacted people to find out that other people in Southern California, miles from me, 20, 30 miles from me, 40 miles, had the same thing. There were a lot of hummingbirds. Now, it could have been, as you can see, the weather has changed and we did get rain. Now, there may not have been, let's say, enough flowers for them, so they were desperately looking for the places they remembered that had feeders out. They could be migrating through or migrating away from areas that are very cold right now, so they're ending up here. Not sure, but I thought I would share this. Go ahead and look at the video. Isn't that amazing? That was in the evening. It was about five o'clock. And there were so many. Look at them. They, they, every seat on the theater was full. If you look carefully, you probably, in one look, one snapshot, can see over a hundred hummingbirds. Now keep in mind, they feed and then they leave. They only eat every 15 minutes or so. So a lot of those were just storing up their food and then they were going off into their torpid sleep that they would do for the evening, basically like a hibernation. And they were desperately trying to get as much food as possible before the sun went completely down. What was interesting is I had the hummingbirds here a little longer than other people had hummingbirds. Now that could be for various reasons. Where your feeders are positioned, if they're getting enough sunlight for them to see, then they can feed a little longer if you're in an area where maybe it gets darker quick. For instance, when I looked at this house I live in, the sun wasn't even going down till eight o'clock at night, and that was in the summer. But a house just down the block at 3.30 had no sunlight because it was on the other side of a mountain. And that is not the type of house I personally want. So it was just to show you that different areas everything's a microclimate, everything looks different. And so it does depend because every, like I said, every area can have more or less sunlight. The other thing is I do put on Christmas lights for them. Now you would think, well, wait a minute, they're gonna get stuck in the dark. No, you know what those are? If you look out the window here, you will see we have multiple citrus trees, which is one of their favorite trees because they love the pollen and the nectar in there and they do like to sleep in there, they even bathe on there. Now you can see down here, we have, oh, about a half a dozen citrus trees, but, but what you can see right now is four of them. We've got some tangerines, we've got blood oranges, we've got regular orange trees, and we even have the kumquats. Now, on the other side here, this window, I have three large orange trees here. So look how quickly they can dart as soon as they're filled up and ready to go to sleep. They can quickly dart into those trees so they only have to go feet. Yes, they have the hibiscus, but they don't normally sleep in the hibiscus. See the coverage on there? Another tree they happen to like are pine trees, which we have right on the other side of the house here. And of course, there's pine trees just across the hill and they will sleep in those. Good coverage and nothing seems to bother them because it's, well, it's safer from predators. So these are trees they like, really dense trees if they can find it. They don't use nest boxes. So what you see there is for other birds to nest in in the spring and summer. They don't go inside boxes. But this is what they feed on here, are the nectar that we put out, which is a quarter of a cup of white granulated sugar and one cup of water. Of course, I have to make it by the half gallon to a gallon at a time. I have no idea, I didn't count how many gallons I went through yesterday. But even right now, which is 
1.30 in the afternoon, you can see how many there are, and there will be more tonight, probably thousands. Now, I don't tend to go live that often. I'll try to do it soon because we're trying to change the setup here because I don't want to stand in their way. If I come here in my porch area, this is my breakfast room where I work in and I do my projects, I start my seeds and different things here. If I stand here when they're coming in the feed, some of them may not feed or may be leery and I'm not out to upset them in any way. Now, a lot of them know me, they'll come right into the house, no problem, buzz around me, go right up to my head, they'll come on my hand. But generally, there's a lot of them that are coming in here we may not know and they may not know me. So for me, I don't want to stand here with my camera and upset them at night. But if I can get a camera set up, I'll show you periodically. I have come on live before to show you how they feed. Now, I can stick my camera out there and walk away, and that's another option. But I figured I've got the footage off my Wise Cam, so I have three Wise Cams set up here. That's the one that gets most of them right there. That's an outdoor wise cam, and you can just see how many there are. I'll let you stop for a minute and see what was going on last night. I found it completely fascinating. I do go through this quite often. September, when a lot of them are migrating, uh, we go through that, but I think a lot of it was the weather. The weather conditions brought a lot of them in. All of a sudden, literally thousands. As I was saying, you may count a hundred at one time on all these feeders. I've got here almost a dozen feeders set up here. I've got more on my deck. I've got them all over the garden. So there's a lot of feeders set up in one spot. And if you just estimate 10 birds on one feeder you could see that there was easily with all the other feeders here i've got the peanut butter cups and the dots there was over 100 birds because sometimes there'd be more than 10 sitting on a feeder and they are very friendly here especially at night when they're quite anxious to feed to go ahead and take their turns as i was saying they'll feed and they may sit for a minute and then they take off and they may not come back at all for the rest of the night. So they were waiting in the trees, like you can see right now how they're waiting. And they will hang out in the trees. They will take their turns. And so if you estimate how long that took for them to feed, one minute, give it two. This was going on for over an hour. And then dive bomb into the trees, go to sleep. There were literally thousands. And let me tell you, they were emptying these feeders so fast like they've already done now that I would fill them, turn around, and it seemed like within five minutes the feeders were empty. What's going on here? You probably hear the noises. Gary's making a platform, a landing. And we'll get more into that another time. Isn't that cool? I'll be able to sit out here and eat. I don't know. And then this is, of course, where I'm growing my lettuce. Everybody needs to grow lettuce. Got spinach. It looks a little wimpy because I pulled all the leaves off already. Same thing on the lettuce. Isn't that cool? But yes, this is a beautiful place. And like I said, I've got feeders in different places. So they can come here. They can go in the other feeders. But they really like the window. So that's it. So I wanted to share that with you. This has been really exciting. We're going to have rain for the next two weeks. Doesn't mean it's going to rain every day here in the area we live in in Southern California. It's supposed to be the whole area here. But during the two-week period, it may rain one or two days. It may not rain at all. So we're supposed to be like, in other words, know that we could get rain at any time, which we need. And let me tell you something. Look at the orange trees. Aren't they gorgeous? They are full of flowers and the hummingbirds are feeding on it. And the rain really helps a lot of these plants. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, oh well. <laughs> Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Check out my other videos on the hummingbirds and you'll see a whole lot more exciting things coming for 2023. Bye-bye, everybody.